Hello everyone. Welcome to His Way Ministry. I am Pastor Eunice. I'm really excited to worship God with you today. Let's prepare our hearts for the worship service. Let's put our hands together, bow our heads, and eyes closed. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for allowing us to worship you through online. Although we cannot come to you in person, I know you are here with all of us. Please accept our worship service and bless this time. Father, help us to focus on you and praise your name and teach us how to become more like your son, Jesus Christ. Father, as we listen to your word and praise your name, pour out your Holy Spirit and help us to grow more in you. We love you and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And this is the announcement for Praise Again. That's a global kids praise festival. It's a special event. And you will choose one song with motions and record yourself singing in the song with the motion and send the video clip to me by the 27th of February, Sunday. And you will get lots of great prizes so be hurry you have one more week to go and here are other announcements so yes uh, don't forget to record uh, yourself praising one song and send the video clip to me just as i said the praise again event and we do have our on-site worship it begins at 9.50 a.m. in Gloria Hall, room 802 on the 8th floor of MD Plaza. And after the service, we're going to have on-site cell group. So it goes till 11.30. And when you have online worship service, right after this, we'll have a Zoom cell group from 10.00. 50 a.m. and the link is the same every Sunday so please ask your teacher if you don't have the link and I love Jesus for March is available so I'm going to send the QT textbooks with the sermon notes to you guys uh, in this coming week so hopefully you will get all the packages by the end of this month latest that's all for today's announcement. Thank you. Let's do the intercessory prayer now. What does it mean to have an intercessory prayer? Yes, that means we pray for others. There are so many people who need our prayers. So let's pray for other people. And when we pray for others, or when we pray, there is a Bible verse we always remember, right? And the Bible verse we should remember is from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, and it's verse 16. Let's read the verse all together. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Amen. And today, we would like to pray for... Pastor Joshua Mepwasselar serving 
Global Mission Secondary School in Kiboga, Tanzania. Where is Tanzania? Yes, here. You see here? Okay, it's near to the capital of Tanzania. And Korea, we are here, right here. Okay, so that's Pastor Joshua preaching and teaching the students in Global Mission Secondary School. And this is another picture of Pastor Joshua with his students in Global Mission Secondary School, Tanzania. He is a chaplain there. And here are the prayer requests he shared. So now let's pray for Pastor Joshua and Global Mission Secondary School. Let's put our hands together, bow our heads, and eyes closed. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for giving us this time to pray for Pastor Joshua and Global Mission Secondary School, Tanzania. Father, we pray for your guidance and safety and health, especially in this COVID time. Father, they need your providence. They need your protection and guidance. Father, we pray for the school so that they can provide, they can give their students and also pastors in Tanzania and lay leaders correct biblical knowledge. And please pour out your Holy Spirit onto Pastor Joshua so that he can teach and mentor local pastors and other Christians in Tanzania. The school itself was founded by Korean missionaries and they learn a lot of things from the Bible and also other subjects so that they can become Christian leaders in Tanzania. So Father, please give them all they need and lead them and guide them and protect them. Father, we thank you for your love and your blessings. Although we are small, we do believe our prayers can make changes. We thank you and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now it's time for the memory verse. And today's memory verse is from Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. Let's read all together in one voice. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. Amen. Great job everyone. Now let's try to recite the verse together. Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy and with my song I praise him. Amen. Now let's stand up wherever you are and praise our mighty God together.
Amen. Now please be seated. And today, Pastor Hong is going to preach from the Gospel of Luke. So let's welcome Pastor Hong. Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Hong. And for those who expect Pastor Eunice, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to preach today instead of Pastor Eunice. So you will see Pastor Eunice next week. But today, it's my time. So let's dive into the Word of God. So today our title is the Pharisee and Tax Collector. And today the passage is Luke 18, 9 to 14. Luke 18, 9 to 14. So let's take turn to read the Bible verses. And at the very last, we'll go together. Are you guys good? Good. So I'm going to read verse 9 first. To some who are confident of their own righteousness and look down on everybody else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. Verse 11, the Pharisee stood up and prayed about himself. God, I thank you that I am not like other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast two eyes a week and give a tenth of all I get. 13. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look at the heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Okay, verse 13. Let's go together. Ready? One, two, go. I will I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbled himself will be exalted. All right. So guys, uh, I have something really, really special this morning. So I have these two presents. So it's really something special that I want to share with you. So now I want you to help me to pick which present we are going to open first. Hmm, so here we have present number one is here. It's kind of uh, big and heavy. And here it's present number two here. So do you think which one we should go first? Hmm. Should like present number one because it's kind of big and it uh, looks so fancy and looks so nice. So uh, do you think which one is looks uh, kind of more fun and exciting to open? What do you think? Hmm. Okay, should be like present number one because it looks pretty and cool. And it's big and it's really heavy. Okay, so let's let's see what's inside of it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there's a box inside of it. There's a box. Yes, uh oh. There's a box here. And I wanna see, I wanna look at what's inside of the box. You guys ready? You wanna see what's inside of it? It's nothing. It's air. <laughs> it's air inside of it. No. It's an empty. <laughs> there's an empty one. It's a, there's nothing inside of this. Huh. Hmm. Okay. And here. Present number two. Do you want to see 
what's inside of this. Hmm. Okay, well, let's find this. Oh, okay. I have some chocolates here. That's exciting. Good. Okay. And what else? Mm, what else? Oh, here. Yeah, that's my room key. <laughs> yeah, that's the key for the house. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Oh, we have a Bible here. We have a Bible. It's not interesting. <laughs> Sorry. It is interesting to me. So there's a, a present number one. It's kind of big and looks so fancy and cool. But did you guys remember what's inside of it? There's nothing. There's air inside of it. But present number two, we have chocolate. Even though it looks kind of normal and it looks kind of a uh, paper, paper bag, it's kind of, uh, seems nothing. But there's a key and there's, and there's chocolate and there is also the Bible. You know, the Bible here. So, the Bible also tells us a lot what's on the outside does not really matter. Well, it's kind of important, looks fancy and looks nice, but you know, the Bible always tells us what's on the inside really, really matter to God. So you might heard this before a lot, but if you are listening to today's gospel, gospel lesson, Jesus was talking about two people and how they pray. You know, there are two ways to pray. And I wonder which one describes you. And over the last few weeks, we've been looking at different parables of Jesus. And these simple stories that Jesus used to communicate deep spiritual truth about who Jesus was and what the kingdom is to look like and what it means to be his follower. So in today's parable, we are going to see two different people and two different prayers and also two different outcomes. And you know, yet, the simple story holds up a mirror and it exposes the content of our own hearts. And I, I want you to think about which person represents me. And which prayer am I mostly like to say? And also, what will be my future? So in our uh, today's uh, scripture, there's uh, two guys. The first one is Pharisee. Do you know who Pharisee is? It's, it's un it sounded uh, really uh, good, the Pharisee. The Pharisee was a Jewish leader, and he studied a lot of the Bible. So exactly, he knew everything about the Bible. He read the Bible all the day day after night. So people so respect Pharisee because Pharisee looks so nice. And people think that Pharisee is kind of so close to God. And we can see, now we see this, how this man, Pharisee, how this Pharisee pray. You guys want to know that? How Pharisee usually pray, not, not usually, but how this Pharisee pray to God. He's saying like this. He's saying like, Oh Lord, I am so glad that I'm better than everybody else here. <laughs> and you, God, given me so much wonderful stuff. So I'm so happy. And I'm also happy 
because I'm not like those people over there, especially tax collector. God, I'm thankful that because I'm I'm not like those people. And you know, God, I pray all the time and I fast even today. And I give my stuff to the poor people and God, I know that you love me so much because I do wonderful things and I am so nice. You know, like, does it sound like a good way to pray? Does it sound like that? Hmm, I don't think so. Because his prayer is not liking just, just thanking to God for, for who God is and he's just talking to himself. And his prayer is kind of uh, just, just kind of just talking himself continually. And he might want other people hear his prayer and how good at his prayer. But all everything he, he done, he prayed, he fasted, he helped the poor people. Everything is good. Everything is good. But you know, there's one thing that really Pharisee needs. Do you know what that is? There's one thing that Pharisee even missed. The thing is, he is interested about, about himself. So his prayer is not just focusing on God, but he just praying about everything that he has done before, and now he has, and even he is looking down other people, and just he just bossing off before God, and he just seems like he's bragging about it. So that's what Pharisee means. His heart is not praying to God. He's not talking to God. So there's another guy. Jesus was saying there's another guy who didn't even look up to heaven because he's kind of felt the shame of himself. And he would go down before, go down his need, and said, like pounding his chest, and he's saying that, Lord, I'm not even worthy of praying to you, but God, I thank you for calling me yours, and I'm so sorry for all the things things that I've done before and Lord have mercy on me because I'm a sinner you know he prayed a humble heart that means he didn't think too much himself when he prays he's always thinking about God with a humble heart, he comes before God. And he even pounded in his chest. He just repent what he had done before. He's not bragging about it. And he just talking to God. He just wanted to talk to God with all his humble heart. Church, I want you to know that if you come to God when you pray, there's no need to that you need to, there's no need you have to say some fancy word, you have something, you have something good stuff. When you come before God, when you come, to pray to God. God is always there. And to want to hear 
our prayers. And God always looking a humble heart. So on the wrap of my sermon today, here's my question. Which person describes you? And which prayer represent your prayer life? So I want to pray, head bows, eye clo eyes closed. And when we pray, just concentrate on God. Just keep focusing, not on, not on yourself, but on God. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that you given a new day, a new chance to live a day. And Father, I want to give you my humble heart. God, I do not want to look down anybody else. And God, I'm saying that I need you with my all heart, with all that I am. And I humbly confess that, God, I need you. I need your mercy. God, I know you always listening our prayers. So just help us to come to you. Help us to pray to you with all our humble heart. And they're saying that, God, I need you. God, just uh, help them to pray daily and help them to focus on your love. In Jesus' name, I prayed, and everyone said, Amen and Amen. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being here. Let's close our worship service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you, everyone. See you soon at the Zoom. God bless. Bye.